Hi friends, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I have new blushes to test out. We have some new blushes from Pat McGrath. I'm so excited to dive into both of these. I picked up two shades, so let's test them out. I look so crazy right now. I need to dive into some blush because I just have foundation on and some cream bronzer and I need some color on my face. So Pat McGrath just came out with stick blushes. She already has powder blushes in her line, which I absolutely love. I absolutely love Pat McGrath's powder blushes. I think they're a beautiful formula. They're buildable. They're not super intense or overly pigmented. They are literally so beautiful. So when I saw she was coming out with stick blushes, I was very excited about these and I honestly wanted about three shades but I was like mm, I don't really know if I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna really like this formula because these are blush bombs and when I think of a bomb I think of extremely dewy sticky tacky all of that stuff that I don't really like in products like that. Also, both of these retail for $29 each. When I saw the price of these, I was shocked because Pat McGrath is expensive, but now that I have these in my hand, I feel like these are, I feel like this is just kind of like one of those like really like generic stock component type of packaging. They feel really, really lightweight, super cheap. Doesn't really feel heavy or luxe or anything like that. I'm guessing, don't quote me on this, but I'm guessing that's why these are $29 rather than being much more expensive with other Pat McGrath products that we know. Because I know her powder blushes are like maybe in the 34 range maybe. The packaging on the boxes is absolutely beautiful. I wish this packaging kind of like reflected this. I definitely think that would have been amazing. So she came out with six shades initially. Two shades are sold out right now. The shades that I have are, ooh, Floral Teak and Forbidden Fleur. So it has a soft buildable color. It's a dewy, luminous finish. Makes me nervous. Lightweight, non-sticky feel, flatters all skin tones, multifunctional color booster for cheeks and lips. It's infused with squalene, passion fruit extract, and shea butter. It is free of silicone, parabens, sulfates, mineral oils. It is vegan. Okay, so I have two shades, so this definitely does work out perfect. Oh, that is a beautiful berry shade. I'm gonna start off with this one because this is the one I'm most excited for. I am going to just get this on there. I kind of see the product there and I'm just going to, oh, she's pretty. And I'm just going to start by stippling on this shade. So far, it is definitely dewy, but it's not super, super dewy. Like if I could compare this to the new Makeup by Mario blush, this is not as dewy as that. I don't know if I like the brush though. I'm going to try it on my sponge. I don't know if this is going to like soak up the product, but I wonder if this is better to apply this kind of product. It does, she did say it is a sheer formula. Um, and on the website, it does say a non-sticky feel, but I don't think that claim is true because this is actually very sticky. Like, I would definitely still set this down. When I first watched this, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know how I feel about it. But having it on the skin and actually seeing it on the face, I think it is beautiful. I'm gonna kind of build this up because why not? I'm just gonna try swiping the product on and then taking my sponge and tapping it in and seeing how this works. Okay, yeah, we can definitely build this up. So if you're worried about it not being buildable, you definitely don't have to worry about that. I feel like it's a much more like natural blush. Now let's try out this other shade. This is in the shade Floor Teak. I'm honestly on the fence about this one because I don't really know if this is gonna show up like I thought it was on the website. I really wanted a nice, pretty pink tone. I knew I had the berry one and I didn't really, you know, I knew the berry one was gonna show up, but like this one, I'm a little nervous about. So I'm just gonna try this one, swiping on the cheeks because I really want all of the pigment. <laughs> it's not really my favorite way to apply products like that. I'm actually gonna try blending this in with my finger and tapping this in. Mm, see, this pink is not as punchy as I thought it was. And I feel like this one is just like soaking into my skin. Like this one is soaking into my skin. Whereas I don't really see the color like I thought I was. 
yeah, I'm not feeling this color. This is what this color looks like. I thought online this color looked a lot darker, but like in person, I feel like this is not showing up like I thought it was. Blending it in with the finger, I feel like it looks a lot more dewy. All I see with this shade is glow and I don't know. If I can compare this formula to another one, I feel like it's kind of similar to ColourPop's. Reminding me of the ColourPop blush sticks. I didn't really like that formula. This is a really pretty glowy blush. Is it my favorite blush formula that I've tried? No. Now this is just first impressions, but just from first impressions, it's not something where I'm just like, oh my gosh, I need to have this. You know, I don't really feel like, oh my gosh, you know, like her powder blushes, I use them almost every single day. Like they are staples for me. This one is a product where I'm just like, I just, I'm I'm not too excited about it. I'm just not excited about it. It reminds me of the makeup by Mario as well. I just feel like this one just is not as like super dewy. I mean, it's still dewy and glowy, but it's not as like wet as that one. You know, I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty blush, but I just feel like from Pat, I was expecting a little bit more, which sucks because I do like a lot of Pat McGrath products. It's just, I was just, I just thought this was gonna be something different. There's a lot of things from Pat McGrath that's like, okay, yeah, that's Pat McGrath. Like that is a Pat McGrath product. I love that product. No one else can do that product like Pat McGrath. And with this one, I don't really, f I feel like I can definitely compare this to a lot of other dewy blushes on the market, if that makes sense. But this is just a first impression. I'm definitely going to, of course, over time, my opinion can definitely change. Let me know which side you prefer more. I really like the berry color more. Um, as far as like shades, I feel like this one just blended into my skin and I like to have a punchy blush and it's not punchy enough for me. Oh, I know I look so crazy right now, but I went and I powdered my face and this is how the blush is looking after I've powdered and everything. Now I'm going to add some more of this blush back because I feel like I lost it a little bit. So I'm just going to try to get this back here. I really feel like a lot of people are going to like this blush formula because uh, you like a more dewy, glowy kind of blush. Okay, I'm putting this over powder. Not my favorite over powder, but I just needed, yeah, I don't think I like this on top of powder. So I don't recommend putting this on top of powder. I don't like how this looks. So I'm just gonna go on with my Pat McGrath powder blush. This is in the shade Love Struck. And I'm just gonna put this on top because I love this powder blush formula a lot, but I'm not really feeling the stick blushes. I don't know, I'm just kind of disappointed. <laughs> Which sucks because I was so excited for those but honestly, I really prefer I really do prefer the powder blushes Like if I had to recommend a Pat McGrath blush I would definitely recommend her powder blushes before I say the dewy one at the same time It is a preference thing. I definitely understand But if you like a powder blush and you are wondering which one to get get the powder blush from Pat McGrath I'm telling you just look at how much better this looks. I, I just I just love how this looks. It looks okay, let's get into my final first impressions. Um, these blushes, these are definitely blushes if you love a dewy blush formula, you might like this one. I feel like there are a lot of other dewy blushes out there that I prefer over these. I'm just, I'm just not as excited about these blushes as I thought I was going to be. They're not, they're not a horrible blush formula. Like, I feel like there really is certain people who really love blushes like this one but for me I really don't see myself reaching for these blushes if I'm being completely honest I would have loved to have seen like a more satiny finish kind of blush hopefully she comes out with different finishes in these and I'll definitely try out the other kinds but these right here I'm just a little bit I'm just a little bit disappointed because it's not what I thought it was gonna be but that is just me. I hope this video was helpful for you in trying to figure out if you want to buy these blushes or skip out on them. Let me know your thoughts down below and I'll definitely catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Uh, uh.